Hello everyone, I am back with a new video and a new package called Laravel Async. So Laravel Async is a simple package that enables you to run your code asynchronously in the background of your operating system without using the workers and supervisor. This is a bit different than a Laravel process or Symfony process and, in the, and under the hood it uses level process to run the necessary commands but let's not mix it with uh, the synchronous process of symphony or level process because they are a bit different i will i will i will explain what are the differences but let's jump to in let's jump into this and i will show you how it works so I have already installed uh, Laravel Async in this pre-setup Laravel project and I will just go into the thing and show. So um, yeah, let's create a command first to test our case. So I will create full command and here in the full command i will send one uh, closure to the background of the operating system to execute it after five seconds so um let's say async handler dispatch let's async handler dispatch this function and this function says sleep for five seconds and then info hello from full command after five seconds so the important part here is that after i run this command the command will be finished and it will be dead Will be killed the command will be finished but the sub process which we call this this function let's say as the sub process will be executed after five seconds this is the difference i was talking about if you are using laravel process or symphony process with uh, batching some jobs some some processes or creating pool processes or whatever if you don't wait into the main in the main process the child processes will be die so but i'm not going to talk about that let's focus on this one so uh we will have the log here and php artisan and here i will say that okay uh info command finished okay each word is on full command finished but there is no logs yet because this will run after five seconds that i dispatched it so if we wait a bit five seconds i guess should appear oh where are you dun dun not yet Right. Wasn't that five seconds already? Yes. Okay. Excuse me for my stupid ID. Anyway, so the log appeared after five seconds, or maybe more, or maybe my ID didn't show it, but let's try it again. Let's say, okay, five seconds. But this time, let's log info now. So we can also check the times, of course, sent. Let's go here now. Okay, 48 seconds. And yes, five seconds. After five seconds, it has appeared here. Nice. So, you can also combine this with 
uh, with a timeout, for example, I can set a timeout of mm, three seconds and then kill the job. So this will dis dispatch the function into the background and the function will be executed. And if the function will take more than three seconds, of course, and the main process, mm, let's not call it the main process, the other command that is responsible for the timeout will kill the process by the process ID, which is happening under the hood. So let's try this. I'll clear the logs and let's run this command finished. The now keyboard is here. So we should not see any logs coming in because this already killed it because yeah because it was running for more than three seconds exactly like this so uh but this was a very basic example you can also combine this no, not combining you can also use your level jobs and any other classes that has uh, the handle method for example, let's create a job. I'll call it bar job, whatever. And here we'll say hello from hello from the bar job. And here I will sleep for maybe three seconds. Or let's make it visible by five seconds. And then here instead of this well, let's comment this and this okay async handler dispatch new bar job and on so command finished and after five seconds we should see the huh hello from bar job Yep, so this now was for, for the previous one, I guess, yeah. But anyway, that also worked. So currently, the package handles closures and every other classes that have the handle method in it. So, but what actually happens under the hood? So when you, when you dispatch a uh, new object, a job or a function as a closure, the async handler will um, serialize the input. And since the serialized object as, as an option, as an argument to the command that it has. So this command, the execute command. So it sends the serialized object as an argument to this command, and this command will unserialize it and just executes it. It's three line of code. One, one, two, three. Yeah. And that's it. Because why commands? Because you can put console commands into the OS into the into the background of your voice and that's very simple but here I want to also show you one another example that will show uh, what powerful usages that you can have with this okay let's say I've already created a model called a uh, website that has only one field URL and here in yeah here in the factory I'm setting a URL to it and I just want to check okay some websites URLs whatever okay so uh, websites equals website all and let's for each website as website says key and then dollar website 
and then let's try to do an HTTP get oh, get website URL and get its status equals this and then info let's see let's say key s has status let's say this and then key my bad and then status and then we will say that catch trouble do nothing so this will lock it and we'll say that info let's just say checked double key so classic php tries to handle 100 websites let's let's also do the header and okay i have 100 here migrate refresh there's a seed okay now we have the hundreds of websites okay and classic php will check like dun 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 yeah great okay super fast right but let's send them into the background so uh async handler comes to rescue with a function that uses the key and the website and here status will be the website URL and the info will be that yes you see this so soon we will have a process okay so and i guess all done so this should work do -do 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 super fast yes this is the php i want actually yeah okay what did i mess up could not resolve url whatever okay where is it Eh, my bad okay sorry i should have had this try catch inside this damn <laughs> my bad also lock something here here whatever and locks empty here and go oh my god it is really fast believing or not yes done yes done are we still working done now it's done yes 100 cases amazing no so uh but if you tips and uh notes maybe so be careful when you are using in the same uh way that i used for this example okay so a couple of things you might need to check first you need to check uh, how many how many processes that your server supports how many pids you can create into the server at the same time and second of course make sure you always have timeout there and you know how many processes you are 
sending to the background because if you send lots of processes with like i don't know one gigabyte of memory or two gigabyte of memory and maybe one or two cpus probably you will go into trouble yeah, because it will it will drain your resources so be careful on that and always use timeout as i said async handler by default has a timeout of 60 seconds okay you saw the speed if you don't use because because every dispatches actually dispatches two uh, processes one the main process that will be executed and one another process which will be actually the timeout process that timeout process will try to kill the main kill the kill the process itself after certain seconds of time that you set as the timeout so here i run this with a 60 with, with a timeout of 60 seconds you see how fast it worked but now imagine i'm not doing any timeouts so this this should go double faster yes why because it dispatches half of the processes but be careful it they don't have timeout so if any of them stuck running they will definitely crash the server so be careful on that and uh that was it feel free to write some commands to me check the repo and uh if you see any issues please raise an issue i will be there to rescue <laughs> have a good night or day and stay safe bye